Hey, Aaron Tarmelin here from AaronsGuitarLesson.com and the band Finding Favor. And this is going to be a lesson on You Are More by 10th Avenue North. And this is an awesome song and an awesome band. And uh, we're going to start out by learning the intro and the verse patterns. There's a finger pattern here with some cool chords. And uh, then I'm going to teach you the rest of the chord progression and the strumming patterns for the song. So let's look at this beginning part. I'll play it for you, and then I'll show you a close-up of my fingers and give you the fret numbers and show you how to play it with uh, your thumb and your fingers as well. So the beginning goes like this. All right, so let's see a close-up of the chords first, and then I'll show you what to do with your hand. Okay, so the only strings you're going to use is string 5, 3, and 2. Just 2, 3, and 5 here. Okay, you're only going to play these three strings through the whole verse and uh, intro chord progression. So the fret numbers is going, to, is going to be starting here with your first finger. It's going to be 7. And with your third finger, it's going to be 8. And you're going to leave... <laughs> the third string here open the entire time so you're not going to play the third string at all. So you can play those and this is an E minor. Then we're going to slide this down to the third fret to a C and you can play this with your third finger if you'd like. I find it easier to play with my fourth finger. So you, your first finger is going to be on the third fret, the note C and then again the third string is open and then the second string your pinky fourth finger is going to be on the fifth fret. Then you're going to slide this exact position all the way up to frets 10 and 12 where you're going to play a G. Okay, so it's going to be 10 first finger, fourth finger is going to be on 12. Then you're going to slide this exact position down again to frets 5 and 7. We're going to have a D or a D suspended here. It's going to be 5 on your first finger and fret 7 on your fourth finger. Again, just leaving the third string, the string open the entire time. Okay, so let's see this angle where I can show you what my hands are doing. So my thumb is resting on this fifth string here, and my first finger is on the uh, third string, and then my second finger is on the second string. So two, three, and five. And that's what you're going to play for every single chord. So get used to that. Five, three, and two there. Thumb, one, two. And uh, I've also used this in a lot of other my lessons, but this is a good um, finger set here. Your thumb kind of controls the fifth and sixth string. A lot of other songs. But anyway, for this song, it's just going to be on five, three, and two. All right, so that means on this first E minor, you're going to play the fifth string with your thumb, and the other two with your first and second. So I kind of play it through here for you. So it's going to be thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers first. You can put a little pause in there if you want, just by hitting the strings resting and then when you go down to the next chord the C is going to be finger thumb finger so thumb finger thumb finger then finger thumb finger it's backwards and then you're going to slide all the way up to the G and then start the pattern over again thumb finger thumb finger then when you get down to the D you're just going to play the notes in order thumb one two almost like a strum so again, okay, so that uh, finger pattern just goes through the intro and the verse. You're just going to play that until the, the verses are done um, being sung. So let's look at the, uh, if you want to play the normal chords through the verse, if that's too hard for you, you can just kind of strum through these, through these chords. That's fine too. So let's learn these real fast. Um, it's in, the song's in the key of G, so we're going to use all the basic chords in the key of G. 
starting out with an E minor 7. All right, or just a plain E minor without using your third and fourth finger. So let's look at these chords real fast, and then we'll move on to the, the rest of the chord progressions and the strumming. So this E minor 7 is going to be played 0, 2, 2, 0, 3, 3. All right, and then we have a C suspended 2. We're going to play this by playing uh, mute out the top, 3, 2, 0, 3, 3. Or you can take your first finger off and mute that string. So it'll be mute, three, mute, zero, three, three. All right, then a G5. It's going to be three, mute, zero, zero, three, three. And then a D suspended. Mute, zero, zero, two, three, three. Or mute, zero, zero, two, three, two for a standard D major. D suspended with your pinky, D uh, major with your middle finger. All right, and you can play those chords in that order for the first as well. Okay, and that works. You can just kind of strum through that. Okay, so um, then we have uh, a few more chords that we have to know for the pre-chorus, which is an A minor 7. You can play this by playing uh, mute out the top. You can, you can actually play the top string open if you want, but I like having my A string dominant on this chord. It makes the A sound a little bit more full. So I'm going to play mute out the top, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0. All right. So um, the pre-chorus chord progression is just A minor 7 to a D, major or suspended, you pick if you're playing the song. Back again to A minor 7 to the D. Alright, then let's go through the um, chord progression for the chorus. It's very simple because it's basically the same thing as the verse. A minor 7, C, G. D or D suspended. Okay, so that being the uh, chord progressions for the song, uh, we'll get to the bridge in a second. Let's look at um, the the beats and the strumming pattern. So we have the verses. Chorus straight to the A minor seven. All right, so you're gonna play the chords uh, A minor seven to D twice, four beats each. With a strumming pattern. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and. Okay, so let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four, and. One, and two, three, four, and. Pretty simple because you're doing just a lot of downs. And you can do that through the whole song. It works. It might not be exactly what's going on, but um, you can kind of make some, make some of your own vari variations and uh, come up with your own strumming pattern, but that'll, that'll work throughout the whole song. And if you're a beginner, uh, that'll definitely help you out. So one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, 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 two, three. All right, so pre chorus, then the chorus is played the same way, um, but you're going to change chords every two beats. So same strumming pattern one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and, but strumming uh, the chords every two beats. So. That's the chord progression and the strumming pattern for the chorus. Then it just goes back into uh, the verse, then another chorus. Then we come into the bridge. 
So for the next verse, you can just strum through the chords if you want to, or you can go back to the... Alright, so verse, then go through the chorus again. Alright, now for the bridge, we need to know one more chord. And it's a uh, D over F sharp. It's going to be played like this. First finger on the top string, second fret. Two, zero, zero. Middle finger on two. Third string, and then three, three. So two, zero, zero, two, three, three. D over F sharp. Now the bridge is going to start on a C suspended two. And I'll just kind of uh, play it through for you. to E minor or E minor 7 to the D over F sharp alright so just 4 beats on each 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, I think I said 4 beats it's 8 beats on each but you're doing that same 4 count shimmering pattern twice all right, so you go through that chord progression, then back to the chorus, a small down chorus. You are more you are more pessimistic, you are more You've been remade. All right, then same chord progressions um, throughout the ending of the song. So you basically have uh, two chord progressions. The verse and the chorus is exactly the same. Uh, you can just play the the finger patterns or the chords. Then you have the pre-chorus, A minor 7 to D. And then you have the bridge. Again, it's the C, D, E minor, D or F sharp. And that's pretty much the entire song. And it's a really cool song. Um, if it's too low for you, you can always try using the capo. And you can capo like first, second, third, or fourth. and Play the same exact chords. It's really easy to do in the key of G because um, the G chords are really easy, really, really easy to move, so you can kind of capo up the neck if it's too low for you, or perhaps if you're a girl and you want to sing it higher. So uh, feel free to experiment with that. I hope this helped, and I'll see you in another lesson. Be sure to visit the website and check out a lot more uh, praise and worship songs, as well as other styles of music, and uh, be sure to enter in for the most recent giveaway and win some cool stuff. I'll see you later.